Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Top of the day to you. I'll give you three guesses where I am right now. No, I won't. I'll just tell you anyway. I just happen to be on Radio Watch. This is the first time that I've had a solo watch here for quite some time. I've had a gentleman in training, working with me, slowly coming up to speed, to take over Radio Watches for us here at Marine Rescue Bundaberg. It's always good when we see new players coming on board. So if anybody's watching this, um, little presentation, little video, little YouTube clip, whatever you want to call it, is uh, keen to contribute to the community. Doing radio watches is just one way that you can contribute to help us at Marine Rescue Bundaberg and to help out all the seafarers in this part of the world. When they need help, we are here to help them. Anyway, if any events unfold this morning, I will try and be in the right place at the right time to bring them to you. So everybody have a good day and we'll see whether we can get this little clip up and running before next Wednesday. Cheers. Securitate, securitate, securitate. Hello all stations, all stations, all stations. This is Marine Rescue Bundaberg for a navigational warning in reference to the Burnett River and the coastal waters forecast. Listen on channel 67 in approximately one minute. This is Marine Rescue Bundaberg standing by. Just remember as a disclaimer, this weather will be several days old by the time you get to see it. It is not current. It was done while I was on Radio Watch. And by the time you get to see this video, this weather forecast will be obsolete. So don't get caught out thinking that you're right to go on this weather forecast. Remember, it is a few days old. Hello all stations, all stations, all stations. This is Marie Risky Bundaberg with the Coastal Waters Forecast as issued by the Bureau of Meteorology. Brisbane at 0445 hours. The forecast will cover the following areas St Lawrence, the Burnett Heads, Harvey Bay Waters, and Sandy Cove, the Double Island Point. Please be aware that wind and wave forecasts are averages. Wind gusts can be 40% stronger than the forecast and stronger still than squalls and thunderstorms. Maximum waves can be twice the forecast height. There are no warnings issued for this forecast area. I repeat, there are no warnings issued for this forecast area. The weather situation, a high of 1,033 hectopascals in the Tasman Sea, extends a firm ridge along the east coast. The high will move slowly east over the next few days, maintaining the ridge. The ridge will gradually weaken later in the week as the trough moves into the far southern southwest later Friday and move slowly across the south of the state over the weekend. Just in case you are wondering um, what we do here, um, and I guess this happens up and down the coast in most places, um, while we're on radio watch in, to cover our area of response, it is to keep all the seafarers, everybody, safe, whether they are on our log or whether they are not on our log. If you choose to go onto our log, our watch roster, we will log all of your details, the number of persons you've got on board, the registration of your vessel, your contact details, including a, a mobile phone number for the vessel concerned, and most importantly, your ETA, your destination, whether that destination is just out for a day trip and back in here to the port of our area, or any port in our area as far as that goes, or you are passing through. And um, as you can hear, we're not the only ones doing this job up and down the coast, not just in Queensland, all the way around this country, this very lucky country we live in. And we're all there volunteering our services just to make sure that you get to your destination or get back in safely to where you intend to go. Anyway, cheers from us, or cheers from me, and as I keep telling everybody, I will see you all when I am looking at you. Bye. Just a quick heads up. I think I've run this past you once before, but we run or listen and monitor two HF frequencies here, the high frequencies and then several VHF radios. VHF are the most common ones used up and down the coast by our cruising fraternity, our fishermen, our day fishermen and our commercial fishermen. A couple of telephone numbers, uh, a couple of computer monitors, 
running off this laptop down here and we get up the weather forecast notice to mariners um, also AIS trackers so we can see where most of the vessels are over here is more VHF radios and down below is the mainstream channels channel 67 and channel 16 channel 16 along the um, the console here is our wind monitoring, our wind tracker. At the moment we've got sixes gusting to 12 knots and an EPIRB tracking unit here which will tell us when in range an EPIRB has been activated. In other words, someone's going help or we need help out there in the bay. Anyway, that's basically it. We've got views to kill. I do believe we have the best views where I come from, Burnett Heads, at the mouth of the Burnett River. This little pond out in the front, it's in behind the dock rock wall um, from our marine rescue boat ramp, which is just below me. Um, out to this first rock wall is what we affectionately call the duck pond. It's the old town marina. It's about to become the new gateway marina. Um, once these guys get into gear, they're going to dredge the bottom and bust a lot of rock up that's down there and put in some pylons, some fingers and some floating pontoons and the whole works and jerks to make this a very good, secure, sheltered uh, marina. Over there, the other side of the old barge, the old Lady Musgrave barge, is the boat ramp. It's the most common one used in this part of the world for people that want to go outside and chase the mackerel or any other fish that are out there or just go out for a day sailing. It's the most common boat ramp used for trailer boats, trailer sailors, jet skis, even the odd hovercraft comes in down this boat ramp, little trailable ho hovercraft. And you just can't quite see it upstream from here. Um, up this way is the Thunderbird Port Marina around that corner, uh, not very far up through there. And there's quite a few boats moored up in there. They've got the hard stand, the haul out facilities, and all the comforts of home that the cruising fraternity and the commercial fishermen use quite frequently. And um, we're just down from the town of Burnett Heads. Out here is the old Blue Water Club. It's all going to become part of a major building complex. Um, a resort that has everything that opens and shuts. It's called the Gateway Marina. But anyway, that is all meant to happen, only time will tell. It's all planned to happen, I should say. Once again, only time will tell. And um, out there in the centre of shot is the Burnett Heads Lighthouse. And that's about it from us here, or from me here at Marine Rescue Bundaberg. And as I said, this is probably the best views we've got in this part of the world. Cheers, guys.